G'day guys, welcome back. Splat, look, I have made a splat coaster mold. I'm super excited to use it today for the first time. It's a splat, I know, I'm very excited. And uh, I thought, so I thought, oh, what am I gonna do with it? And then I thought, fluoros, fluoros. I have never used fluoros before, so that's what we're doing today. We've got fluoros. I must say, um, as I said, I've never used fluoros before. I found them really quite difficult to mix. Um, they're kind of like transparent, and then I could see like the little drops. Or, or dots of mica in them that like it wouldn't dissolve and then I had to put more in and oh anyway I don't know whether it's just me or whether these are like a different type of mix I don't know but anyway we have green now I'm just pouring into the middle as you can see and I'm gonna let the resin run into all those little splat areas and that should help with not getting bubbles in the corners if the resin makes its own way into all of those. All right, we'll just stop there and let it do its own thing. That was uh, this little piggy grunge. It's that one. And then this one here, this is more like a, this, this is the only one that actually mixed in nicely. It's more like a mica powder, but I, I just thought it was, um, I thought it was a fluoro. I don't know if it is or not. This little piggy show pony. So yeah, it it's, it's acts more like a regular, well, what I'm used to anyway, a regular mica powder, more like one I am used to. So yeah, those of you that have used fluoros, what have been what has been your experience of them? That's that one. Um, this one I didn't have um, a fluoro yellow from this little piggy, so this one is. LBB resin. It says green yellow fluoro. Really difficult to mix in. I had to add some um, yellow paste. It was just really, really, really transparent. It was acting more like an ink really and then you could still see the little flakes in it like little droplets. Mica powders, I don't know, but it's like, you know, it wasn't dissolving properly. And I've had that issue with all of them today, all of these colors, but there we go. It's really pretty and bright. So maybe you won't notice it. I could probably notice it because it's in the cup, but once it's out and in the coaster, you might not notice it. So that's the LBB. And then the bright orange is this little piggy boogie. Boogie woogie. So those are my colors. Now you can see this one's a mica. See how it's acting differently? It's pulling in from the center, which isn't really what I wanted. I want to just splat like that. I'm a poet and I don't know it. So here we go. This is the orange one. But I didn't realize about the pink one until I started mixing it up. But I don't have a fluoro pink. Well, I thought that's I thought that was a fluoro pink, but it's obviously just a pink mica powder. All right. Now we'll just go through and fill them up so I want them to be nice and full and domed I am using the platinum 360 plus and I thought oh my gosh how much do I make so I ended up doing 100 175 grams of a 75 grams of B it's 250 grams it's a cup about a cup for for these for splats what do you think of them? What do you think of them? Oh, just a little bit of fun, hey? Like, it's easy. There's no measuring, there's no weighing, there's no, well, there's a bit of weighing of the resin, but you don't have to wait to pour and wonder if your blooms are gonna work. <laughs> so yeah, just a bit of a fun video today. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's make sure I've gone through and filled them all. I want them to dome, that way they look like a real splat. 
Did you ever play with slime when you were little and it was all green and gooey and you splattered it down and it made all these weird shapes? I designed these myself. I'm really proud of them. Really happy with the way they turned out. And I'm just making sure that they're all nice and full and then I'll give them a torch. So I probably do want the top to be the top because it's got that curved edge which makes it look more like, like a fluid has actually just kind of splattered. <laughs> so that's, that's what I was going for. So just pushing the boundaries here, trying to get as much in as possible without them overflowing obviously. But I really want them to dome as best as possible. I think that's it. I don't, don't think I can get any more in. Maybe a little bit in this one. <laughs> really pushing the boundaries here. So these, it's um, it's quarter past six in the evening now, so I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow to unmold them. But you've seen, you know, there's nothing to unmold as such because this this is it. <laughs> this is it. All right, let me move all my mess out of the way. Um, I did roll with my measurements. There's only a tiny little bit left, so we'll say a cup full. Um, Going to be if you're going to dome something, you have to make sure that your table is really level. Otherwise, your resin will overflow in some areas, and uh, resin is self-leveling, so it will overflow if your table's not totally, totally flat. All right, real quick little torch, just in the center. I don't want to fuse my new mold. Now I'm not going to spray with alcohol, although oh, maybe I will. See, with the alcohol spray, I personally think it leaves like little droplets or like a like a watermark, basically. Um, and I don't like that. But I'll see what happens. I'll just wait a couple of minutes and see if we get some more bubbles accumulating in the middle. Um, and then I might... Well, actually, what about this? See, the, the problem with these things... I mean, there's not a flame there, but the problem is they blow your resin around. And I personally don't really get much in the way of bubble release from them. Not really. I don't see any bubbles popping there at all. Whereas if I use my torch, I, I definitely do. But you just have to be really careful with your torch. So all those bubbles are gone now. But yeah, you have to be really careful. Oh, I haven't fused it. There's a bubble there. Got it. Got it. I have got this little dude. Um, it's 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 a tiny one. It's a tiny one of these. But it's just you put um, butane fuel in it. And I'm still in two minds about. I'm just hanging my tool back up. I'm still in two minds about whether or not I really like it. So you turn this on now, and the when it's hot and red like that. You get, yep, that, that did get bubbles. It's only really tiny, so it is actually popping these little bubbles here. There's not much heat. I mean, I'm not going to put my fingers in front of it, but for these little fingerlings here that have accumulated some little micro bubbles, it is actually popping those. I just got this from Amazon. I've ordered another one as well, a slightly different one. I'm waiting for it to arrive. So when it comes, I'll, I'll show you both and uh, we'll do a little experiment and we'll see which ones work better because like I said, those, those other ones that blow air, they just don't work for me. And then you turn it off like that. And that's very hot on the end, so don't put it down on anything that's going <laughs> to melt or set fire, okay? I wait until it's cold before I put it back in its little housing. All right. Now, I think my bench must not be level because I'm kind of going that way a little bit. A little bit. Anyway, um, um, I'll bring you down real quick just to show you, hopefully show you the doming. I think I might have to tip my bench up that way a little bit. I'll take this bit of paper out. Okay. 
Um, right, what am I doing? I'm so excited. I'm just giddy. I'm like a giddy little schoolgirl. All right, here we go. I'm going to see. Now, I know the ring lights and things are in the way, but I just wanted to show you. See how they're kind of doming over the edges? That's what I mean by doming, rather than just flat. So I don't see any bubbles in them any, anymore. There's something there in the green. I'm going to have to pick that out. But I am going to cover them with my box, my storage box. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. And we'll see what the splat coasters look like. <laughs> I'm so excited about this one, guys. All right, it's the next day. This is the box I use to cover. It's actually a plastic drawer. There's its little handle. And, uh, yeah, I use it for my, my resin work. All right, let's have a look. I've got a tiny little bit of overflow there. <laughs> I've obviously filled him up too much. Oh, yep, they're set. Yay. All right, let's get them out. Now, like I said before, the top bit here is what I want as the top of the coaster because it should have a lovely little dome on it. Oh, it comes out easily. Look at that. Look how shiny it is. Woohoo! I wonder what the other side looks like. Yeah, not as good. <laughs> you, can, you can see the little bits of mica powder that haven't dissolved yet. Oh, love it. Wow. Love it. All right, that's one. Let's get them all out first, hey? Let's get them all out. And then we can look at them. Not that there's, you know, anything else to look at. There's no big reveal on the back or anything. Can you see that? You see how that mica powder or that neon powder has not dissolved properly. It's the issue I was having with it. I don't know if you can actually see down there. I can see them, but I don't know if you can see them. But yeah, it's just weird. I've never had that happen. Only with the um, only with the neons. It's a bit weird, isn't it? But let me know if that's what happens with you too. Now, this has got a little tiny bit of overflow just there. And I'll cut that out. <clears throat> and the yellow, the bright yellow, look how bright it is. It almost hurts your eyes. It's so bright. Ah, and it's out. And look, oh, look, this tiny little speck. So clean. Came out beautifully. All right, where am I going to put you? Where am I going to put you? I have to move my box. Put it over on the other side. So there you go. There are my splats. <laughs> What do you think? Um, now, unless you're using a heat resistant resin, don't put anything on them yet. Like don't go and get your cup of tea and put it straight on because it's going to leave a little ring. Um, I do have, and I should be using more of it. I will now that I've got my splats. It's the high temp resin from Platinum. Um, I've even made a bowl and then put it straight in the dishwasher the next day and it was perfect. It didn't leave a ring when I put a coffee mug on. But um, the 360 plus is also um, safe to about, I think it's 90 degrees Celsius, so a hot cup of coffee. I should try it actually, but I don't want to. Normally you wait until, you know, about three or four weeks until your resin's totally cured before you go putting hot things on them. But there you go. Hope you enjoyed my video. Hope you enjoyed my splats. <laughs> And uh, I'll take a little photo shoot of them outside later on so that you can see. But, um, yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted to dome them so you got that slight little curved edge on the, on the top there. So they look like a, a real splat of something. Now, this one looks more burgundy. It's actually really bright pink. I don't know why it looks burgundy on there, but it's a bright pink. It's just my lights. So cool. Oh, the other thing I wanted to do with these, do you remember when I did the um, arabesques and I put black around the edge of all of them and it made that really pretty pattern? I'm wondering, I'm wondering, guys, if these, because they've got all these different interesting shapes, if they'll do something similar. What do you think? I'm going to try it anyway. 
So we'll see. And um, I'll also do one like with a little bloom in the middle. So I think there's lots of different things you could do with these. I just love them. So thank you so much for watching. You let me know what you think of my splats. Uh, the mould will be available in my eBay store. The link is down in the description. So yeah, let me know. I love them. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you again real soon for the next video. Bye for now.